Hey YouTube, it's Renee. I'm back. I went shopping again. It's really cold and rainy today. And I thought I would go up to the Pine City Scrapbook Company. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from my house. And I drive by it a lot when I go visit my family. But I've never stopped there. And I've heard good things about it. And I also went and visited the Northwest Fur Trading Post. So I got a little bit of history in. And... It wasn't so bad up there. It was kind of overcast, threatening. It rained on the way up, but down here it's been really rainy. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I got. This store was kind of amazing. It's like the old time, early 2000s scrapbook store. It's big. I'd say there was at least eight rows of paper and then a back wall that was all like basil. And then along the side of the store... There was just all kinds of papers. So there's tons of papers. They had some new stuff. Like um, they had Dear Lizzie Serendipity, the Maggie Holmes confetti. Um, what else did they have? They had a lot of pink paisley. Um, but they had a lot of themey stuff too. And I know some people are like, I'm not themey. It almost seems kind of stuck up in a way to me. Because I am kind of themey. So anyway, I quite enjoyed the store. So let me show you what I got. I got this stamp set. I saw May Flom using this in um, one of her videos. And I just love that little Good Luck Kitty. My daughter has a collection of those Good Luck Kitties. So I can't resist a Good Luck Kitty when I see it. Plus my husband's Irish. Irish American. And uh, he likes those uh, four leaf clovers. So I thought this was a really cute stamp set. So... Nothing was on sale. That's the thing about when you do Michaels and stuff. Things are on sale or you have coupons. There was no sales, no coupons, but I felt kind of good. I spent about $65, um, but I felt kind of good supporting a local store. And up there, they don't have any of, you know, competition like Michaels or anything. It's over an hour and a half away from them. So in prep for my Disney trip, I was looking at this on scrapbook.com. I was going back and forth between... This one and the chevrons with the black, yellow, and red. But I ended up getting this one because it seemed a little more Disney to me. So, and Plus I figure I can use it on other things. So, got that. And they had all of the Say Cheese paper there. But I just ordered a bunch of that from scrapbooks.com. So, I, I want to see what I have first. I have a feeling I'm not going to probably take as many Disney pictures as I... Well, maybe I am. Who knows? Anyway. And then I got these little Mickeys. I just thought they were super cute. And then I got this Tim Holtz stencil. That's the other thing. They had the three latest um, Tim Holtz colors on display. Um, whatever his three new colors are. The amber and that kind of greenish. Is it, I don't know what the colors are. But anyway, they had the three latest colors there. Um, so I got this stencil. I haven't seen this one. It's travel theme. You guys know I cannot resist a travel thing. <laughs> so I got this because I thought this would be good. And then I picked up as much of the Pink Paisley Atlas as they had. Look at these. I didn't even realize until I got home that they are sparkly. Oh, I love those colors. But they've got, you know, they've got enamel dots and airplanes and stars and geotags. That will come in very handy. And then the kind of corkish, but there's a, it looks like a little bit of sparkle to them. They say travel, journey, and vacation with some stars. Love that. And then I got this pack of ephemera. There's 40, no, there's 74 pieces. And I don't think it shows at all. And I don't really want to open up the box, but for five bucks, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I really do like how happy colors this are. So, like that. And then I bought the stickers. And you get like three different sheets. And I think those will really be good. And then I bought all the papers that they had. This one is called Latitude with the Map. You know me and a map. And then there's maps on the back. I don't know if you can see. It's really, really subtle. Like this is the U.S. down here. I think this is Europe up here. Anyway, like that one. 
This one with all the globes is called Globe Trotter. I like how the edges are distressed too. And this gray stripe, it's almost got some lines and some print, almost like maps. And this one is called Compass. I like the little arrows. All of the bright colors in this. And then the green. And then this one is Souvenir with the fun little cameras. And the back is the blue quatrefoil. And this one's called Wheels Up with Little Red Airplanes. This is a fun print. And then, eh, I don't know about this. I love this one. It's called Altitude. This would be really great to use. And the back is awesome too. This is yellow. And then Ticket to Ride, which is a lot of little tags. And the back is this red triangle, which I really like. Yeah, I got another one of these too. This one's here and there. You saw I made it in my book, but I just love the back too, so I thought, eh, why not? This one's called Postcard, and it's got a lot, a lot of like travel sayings on it, and gray, which is good back, neutral background. But I love this more. And then these are the cut-aparts called Take Flight. I love this. I like this one too. I gotta take more pictures of me and my husband in the airplane. <laughs> And I like the back too. I probably should have bought two of these because that one is pretty awesome too with the um, ombre. And then somehow I picked two of these. I'm not sure how I did that. Um, but I did like it. And it's by something called Paper House. It's just a little thin one sided piece of paper. And I somehow ended up getting two. Okay, now this is where I got Themey. Is I can't. I cannot resist a map. Um, even though we're only kind of going over here, I don't know, I think I might be able to use this at some point for cruises or, you know, we went on another cruise where we went around this way too, so I don't know. Hopefully my husband has a good time on this cruise so we have more, more cruises ahead of us. Okay, and now this is where I got really themey. I told you they had a lot of theme stuff there. I got Vikings football, yeah. I figured we could put some pictures, like a big giant collage here, and then here's the other side. So you can, it kind of goes like that. So you can even do a two page layout. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe how cheesy that is, but I will use this. I am serious because we go to the training camp and we go to every single game because we are season ticket holders. And so then I got this one too, but I figured I could do more, like another big collage print there, and that would make it super easy. So I was pretty excited about that find. And being close to the Wisconsin border, they did have the Packers, and I reser resisted the urge to spit upon them. No, I wouldn't really do that, but they did have the Packers too. Plus they had all their local schools and a whole bunch of stuff, so they must get those custom. Um, and then I got these, which are the Bow Bunny Double Dots, and they've got like a really subtle pattern. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got kind of a shadow in here because it's dark and I don't want to turn on light. Um, but it's kind of a um, scrolly pattern, and then on the back is the polka dot. This one is called Buttercup, and this one is called, you can maybe see the pa pattern a little bit on this one. It's got Distressed. And then maybe you can see the blue pattern a little bit better there. Um, this one is maize. It's kind of orangey. Oh no, this one's orange vintage. I didn't get the maize. This one is kiwi. The dots on one side. And the pattern, distress pattern on the other side. Oh, I love that. And then this one is island mist. And this one has a little bit of the gold in it on the one side. And the other side looks like this. These are going to be great. And then... Ocean Vintage with more gold splatters. I'm splattering challenge, guys, so I like it when they do it for me. And then, you know, the pretty on the back. And then, oh, this, is, this will go with my Vikings paper purple. How often can you get purple? Not very often. This one's called Blueberry Vintage. Oops. Oh, my gosh, that is a great color purple. And it's got gold in it, so I could use that for Vikings pages, too. Yay! 
They also have the twins, but I just did my twins pages with the Chamel, and the twins are red and navy, so they're a lot easier than the Vikings. But anyway, here's the last one. Chiffon Vintage. Ooh, this one's got some gold, too. But I wanted a neutral. Oh, look at that. And I think I can use this in my Las Vegas album because I have a few more pages. And I am running out of papers that kind of go. So, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I've had a, about a dozen new subscribers. I'm getting close to 100. And when I get to 100, I'm going to do the giveaway. So I'm very excited to do, be able to do that. Thank you for watching, for liking, for commenting. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.